Good morning. Ah. Oh, who's out here? Ah. I got my little bunny girls out today. Ah. Oh. I have not put out my sheep yet, and they hear me. <laughs> They're screaming at me. Hi, girls. Got two of my four Angora bunnies out in our little bunny hutch in the front yard today. This is just what we call our grazing pen for bunnies. <laughs> a simple little PVC pipe structure that our neighbors made and gave to us a couple years ago. And we've been using it on our front yard here. I did leave it over winter in that spot, so the grass has yet to grow back. I think I need to reseed it, but everywhere else it's growing back because I move it fast. <laughs> so I just need to get better at moving it. But I'll bring out my bunnies periodically and give them some um, time to graze and eat fresh grass and hop around outside in a protected environment. So that's what we're doing today. They love it. They always find something interesting. Right now, they found a stick. Oh boy. Did you find a stick? Yes, it's very exciting. <laughs> These are my Angora bunnies. They're a cashmere fiber breed. <laughs> I comb them out weekly, and every three months they blow out their coat, and I collect the fiber. And I'm doing a little bit of mounting behavior. It's just to show who's boss. They're just trying to show their hierarchy. And since the littler bunny, the little gray one, is younger. That's Stormy. She's the youngest bunny. She's actually one year old this month. Stormy's just one year old. Dreama, that light fluffy one who looks like a cloud, is about a year and a half. Oh my goodness, girls. So it looks like they're doing some frisky mating behavior, but they're not. They're just playing and they're establishing dominance. They're trying to prove to the other one that they're the big bunny. The funny thing is Dreama is the big bunny. Clearly she's bigger than Stormy. <laughs> this little totem pole. <laughs> but Stormy has a very strong, very strong personality. So it's hard for Dreama to assert herself. She's trying to tell Stormy that she's in charge. And you know, she is. She's the older bunny. She's bigger. But Stormy just won't have it. Stormy's like, I'm in charge. I'm Stormy McFluff. Sweet girls. So they're going to spend the day nibbling on grass, enjoying their little bunny life. I could put my two girls out here together because they don't fight. They just try to establish dominance and then they get over it pretty quickly. They've only been out here for about five minutes, which is why they're still doing it. But I can't put my boys out here together. I have to bring them out separately. Because if I put two boys in the same hutch together, they'll fight. And they'll hurt each other. And we don't want that. Who's screaming at me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have to wait. You to wait for your turn. <laughs> Shirley headbutt that little <laughs> ram lamb. <laughs> She's like, I'm not in the mood. I haven't had my breakfast. <laughs> oh, but these sweet girls, they're so fluffy and fun. I love my Angoras. I use their cashmere to make a lot of fun little products that I sell. Baby booties, hats, mittens. I do wet felting with their fiber, and it's super easy and really fun. Right, girls? Yes. You can feel the fluff, huh? When I do their little weekly groomings, when I comb them out, sometimes I'll trim their little ear tufts. So that's why Dreama's little ear tufts look so blunt right now. Usually they're long and fringed and fluffy. But I just trimmed them the other day. They also trim their little nails, their <laughs> little toenails. They get trimmed like once a month. They don't need to be trimmed once a month. They probably only need to be trimmed like every other month to every three months. But I just do it every month so that we can keep them used to it. And always be handling them and keep them friendly. So that's what's going on with my bunny girls today. Real quick, 
before I end the video, I wanted to show you my cherry tree has some cherries on it. I have two cherry trees that I got from the Arbor Day Foundation a few years ago. Um, by a few years ago, I mean like almost a decade ago. <laughs> this was just a twig from the Arbor Day Foundation. I actually got like four cherry trees to start, but a couple of them died. So I'm down to two and these are Bing cherries, I believe. This one here and there's another one right there. In between them, I have these two Arbor Day fruit trees that are apricots. And my cherry trees just started blooming like last year and providing me with cherries. So this year they bloomed and I'm gonna get a bunch of cherries off them. I'm excited. My apricots, however, have never bloomed until this year. There was one cluster of blossoms, not on this one, but on this one. And since there was just one cluster, I watched, and from that one cluster, there was one little apricot that still looked like it was hanging on. And let me see, I put a little bag over it so that I could keep it. We may have lost our one apricot. Oh well, I tried. I put a little jewelry mesh bag on it because I only had one and I wanted to keep it protected. <laughs> But I don't see it in there, so I might have lost my one apricot this year. That's okay. There's always next year. Hopefully we'll get more blossoms next year and therefore more fruit. All right, I gotta go wake up the farm. I can't believe they're being so quiet and they're not screaming at me. Mm -hmm. Especially this one over here. can't believe she's behaving and not screaming at me. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great morning. I love you. <laughs> Bye, bunny girls. Have a nice day, honeys. We'll see you soon.